Some local preschoolers are very hard at work this summer. They are preparing fresh produce to sell at their very own farm stand. The work is part of an outdoor learning based curriculum, and now they're inviting the community to come and see the fruits of their labor and lend a hand in keeping their education at the forefront as the summer winds down. Two News anchor Corey Duke shows what you can do to help. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. A quick moment of zen for these preschoolers. So let's talk about what we have. What's in here? Green. We have greens in here. And then a recap of the product before the rush of the day. Who's going to come for our farm stand? Customers. Say customers. Customers. And they're set to arrive soon to come here to Stuart Little Day School. In my early childhood master's program, I learned a lot about the benefits of outdoor learning and how it increases their imagination and their critical thinking skills. Jessica Stewart says when she was teaching in public schools, she thought there wasn't always the opportunity to take kids outside and explore, so she had an idea. I wanted to create a place where I could teach in the way that I felt would be most beneficial. For Jessica, that came with an outdoor-based learning concept, ran from her home. Here you'll find mud kitchens, gardens, sandboxes, a music wall, doll houses, <laughs> and even chickens. They're so much more adventurous and intrigued and curious. Um, it's been really amazing to watch them grow. Yeah, that looks so good. These kiddos aren't the only ones flourishing, so are their gardens. And I was trying to think of a way to take it one step further to make the learning really Thank stick. So um, and I was like, well, what better way than for them to sell it to people and learn customer service skills? Welcome to Stuart Little Day School's very own farm stand where the customer service is top notch. I have some money for you, okay? I have $2. You're welcome. A nice glass of iced tea. Thanks, sweetie. It's hot. It's hot? Yeah. Okay, do I need to... Oh, I need to blow on it? And it was back to work, selling eggs, peppers, flowers, carrots, tomatoes, and so much more. Thanks for the coming. It takes a lot to keep this type of education going. In order to build a classroom like this and build systems that make learning sustainable, it's expensive and tuition is not cheap. To offset costs for families, the school's hosting a tuition scholarship fundraiser this Thursday at Welltown Brewing. That way, the work and play being done here can continue. And this farm stand can keep producing generations of adventurous young minds. In Tulsa, Corey Duke, 2 News, Oklahoma.